it was fun, man. It was really fun. We got a chance to hang out with um, we had uh, Zach Smith that you're familiar with. He's also on the playbook. Oh, he spent the entire mm-hmm. weekend with us. Yep, and I uh, just want to give a big shout out to his dad, Buddy Smith. Let me tell you something. It's very rare in life that you meet people that are so genuine and true and just honest, loyal people. And he is definitely one of them. So I want everybody to listen to understand that. Buddy Smith's probably one of the best guys I've ever going to meet in my life. I consider him a longtime friend. Um, he, he, he really was, I mean, it, it was a great weekend just spending, you know, spending time with him and getting to know him. And, you know, his, 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 I have a new lifelong friend, his son Xander. Um, it was just a great, it was just an overall great weekend. You, you know, Seth, we're going we're gonna to grab a, quick, uh, a few calls. We're going to have Buddy come to the line. I'm going to come in a second. And last but not least, man, uh, man, Buddy Smith, man, the common sensor. Man, it's all about the concussion. So uh, let's make sure I clear I clear the board and I leave anybody hanging. I got one call holding. I'm gonna, let's, let's go to Kurt. Let's kill the music and let's get back to the show. Let's get Buddy Smith. Welcome to the Kenyatta Watson Show. Sponsored by CommonSensor.com. Hello, gentlemen. How are you guys tonight? What's up, buddy? Man, How are you, brother? Seeing you, man, your son, I, I seen Zach, man. Goodness great. That guy's built like a freaking Mack truck. <laughs> yes, sir. He's been working hard. Um, For sure. So you, you had Kenyatta down in your, in your neck of the woods over the weekend. And, and, uh, appreciate what you've done for the Kenyatta Watson Show putting the guys up and just really, uh, I should have came. That's all I got to say. I should have been there, man. But um, yeah. thank you so much. Yeah, but thank you so much, man, for what you're doing with the Kenyatta Watson Show. Uh, not only just sponsoring, man, you, you, you're actually, man, uh, uh, driving success of what we do, man. Now, talk, talk about, before we get into Zach, uh, this common sense, man, because I got parents are calling across the country that listen. They're going to be in the football field and helmets. The whole thing about concussions. Give, give us a little bit of information on the common sense, sir. Yes, sir. So, uh, a few years ago, you know, I've been a youth coach for 10 years, you know, just like you guys, and I love kids, and, you know, obviously with Zach and then his little brother Xander, who's, you know, Kenyatta's new best friend, and they, um, you know, they, they love kids' sports, and I grew up playing kids' sports, and, you know, things have changed a lot, you know, there's a lot of uh, legalities and things around, especially head injuries and head trauma, and there's a lot of people that are changing you know the game of sports so I was on the phone today with USA Hockey and there's many leagues now that don't allow checking anymore Um, you know so it's uncheckable hockey so you've got kids basically figure skating with sticks now and they just outlawed headers for all kids under the age of 12 with USA soccer and there's just things that are happening based on a lack of data um, and, and fear of lawsuits and, and a lot of what's not known because you can't see inside of someone's head. So our technology is pretty simple. The inventor of the Wii Remote, so everybody's played the Wii Remote, where you swing in and it communicates to the Nintendo system how hard you swung the golf club or the baseball bat or whatever. That same technology is what drives our concussion identification sensor, which is it measures the speed at which your head moves and then translate that into G-forces, which then our patented algorithm can then alert the coaches or the referees or the trainers to a potential hit that was hard enough that would require a kid to at least get looked at. And that's why we're calling it common sense. You know, you can't see everything that happens on the field all the time. And just like the NFL, they got guys with binoculars up in the suites looking down on the field trying to see everything that's happening. But... Really, for us, we're just trying to be a a very simple, low-cost way of helping the coaches and the volunteers and the people that care about youth sports identify when someone needs to get checked out. And that's it. It's just common sense from, uh, from, from A to Z, just caring about kids and trying to protect the players, the coaches, the parents, and taking the subjectivity out of it. 